Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. In today's video, we will be doing a yoga class to relieve stress. Hopefully, it will allow you to calm down, feel a little less stressed and more relaxed. So grab your mat and let's get started. Begin in a seated position, sitting on the ground with your shins crossed in front of you. Flex your feet underneath your knees. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands to your legs. And close your eyes. Begin to deepen your breathing. Breathing deeply through your nose in and out. With each inhale, feel your rib cage expanding wide. And with each exhale, feel the rib cage coming back in. Feel the pathway of your breath as it moves in and out through your body. Focusing your attention on your breathing in any way that you can. Remain here for a few more breaths. Slowly open your eyes. Let's take another inhale, find length through your spine. And on your exhale, walk your hands forward. Relax your head over in a forward fold, keeping your legs where they are. You can fold over any amount that your flexibility allows for you today. Just be sure that you're looking down and feeling a gentle stretch in your hamstrings and glutes and lower back. Remain folded over and walk your torso over using your hands over to the right. Look down towards your right knee and allow your hands to reach forward on the diagonal, finding a twist here. Take one more deep inhale through your nose and exhale, release it out. Walk your torso over to the opposite side, coming into your twist in the opposite way to the left. Both sits bones are even on the ground as you twist, stretching the right side of your body this time and looking down towards your left knee. Hold here, breathing deeply. Walk your hands and torso back to the center and come sitting upright, sitting up tall. From here, slowly make your way onto your hands and knees. Bring your knees underneath your hips and your hands briefly underneath your shoulders as you touch your big toes together behind you. Sit your hips onto your heels. Stretch your arms out forward and relax your head down onto the ground coming into a child's pose. You can close your eyes in child's pose if you would like to. Once again, come back to your breath. Remain in child's pose and lift your head up slightly. Take your left arm Thread it underneath your right for a twist, bringing your left temple to the ground. Continue to sit your hips onto your heels and relax here in your twist in child's pose. Unwind from your twist, reach your left arm forward, and come into the other side. Thread your right arm underneath your left and bring your right temple to the ground and sit your hips back for a twist in child's pose on the right.
unwind from your twist, reach your arms out in front of you. Come up onto your hands and knees, bringing your shins parallel to one another. Knees under your hips. Walk your hands about six inches forward. Tuck your toes so your feet are flexed. Keep your hips up and stay on your knees, dropping your head down onto the floor and reaching your arms out in front of you, stretching your back and the bottoms of your feet. Send your chest down towards the ground here and hold for several deep breaths. Slightly lift up your head and thread your left arm underneath your right, coming into a twist in this pose, bringing your left temple to the ground. Keep your hips even and tuck those toes, keeping your feet flexed. Breathe deeply as you twist. Come out of your twist, bringing your arm stretching out in front of you, and thread the other arm, your right arm, underneath your left. Come into twist in the other side, bringing your right temple to the ground. Keep those hips even above you as you twist, and hold here. Come out of your twist, stretch both arms out in front of you, press your hands and feet into the ground as you straighten your legs and press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal your legs in downward dog, gently pressing one heel at a time down towards the ground and stretching the muscles in your legs. Continue to breathe as you move in your down dog for a few more breaths. And then slowly come to stillness. In down dog, as you're here, hold your hips up and back. Press your heels down towards the ground. Hold for one more breath. On your inhale, raise your heels and bend your knees. Look forward and step your feet up to your hands into a half forward fold with your spine straight. Exhale, fold your torso over, relax your head. Inhale, come all the way up to standing with a flat back and reach your arms out around and up. On an exhale, release your hands all the way down by your sides and stand up tall into dasana. As you're here into dasana, drop your chin to your chest for a moment, stretching the muscles in the back of your neck. And close your eyes, breathe deeply as you stay here. And then on your following inhale, you'll slowly bring your head back up. Tilt your head over to the left. Take your left arm and gently wrap it around the top of your head and pull it over to the left. You're pulling gently here, very slight movement and motion stretching the right side of your neck. Remove your hand from your head, bring your head back up, and then tilt it over to the right. Wrap your right arm around the top of your head and gently pull it over to the right stretching the muscles in the left side of your neck. Remove your hand from your head and bring your head back up. As you're standing into Dasana, gently wiggle your jaw from side to side, releasing any tension you might be holding there. Bring your jaw to stillness and take a very deep breath in through your nose and release it completely out through your mouth. You'll do this twice more. 
breathe deeply through your nose in and release your breath completely out through your mouth. Opening your mouth, releasing the breath out. Bring your hands to your hips, slightly bend your knees, and come into a forward fold with a flat back. Bringing your hands to the ground and relaxing your head over, bend your knees as much as you need to to get your hands on the ground. Remain here, breathe deeply in your forward fold, Take hold of both elbows in opposite hands and allow your head to hang over. Continue to release your neck and your spine out by shaking your head yes and also shaking your head no. So up and down and side to side and just releasing the muscles out completely with the weight of your head. When you're ready, slowly come to stillness. Place your hands back down onto the ground, plant your palms flat onto the floor, and step back one foot at a time into downward facing dog. Hold downward dog for a moment. On your next inhale, raise your right leg all the way up behind you, and then turn the leg out from your hip. Bend your right leg, and you can point your foot or keep it flexed, it's up to you. Keep your left foot and your hands where they are, and you should be feeling a stretch in your right quad, your right hip, and the right side of your upper body as well. Turn the leg back to center, set the foot down onto the ground, and then switch sides. Raise your left leg all the way up behind you, and then turn the leg out from your hip. Bend your left leg, and stretch the front of your left hip, and the quad, and the left side of your upper body. Keep your right foot in your hands where they are on the ground. Take your left leg back to center and then take the left leg, step the foot forward in between your hands. Turn your body so that your feet are in a wide-legged parallel position and you're in a forward fold in this wide-legged position. Relax your head over in your forward fold. Once again, your feet are parallel to one another and place your hands on the ground. If your hands don't reach the ground, you can always bend your knees or use blocks underneath your hands. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly come up to standing with a straight back. Keeping your legs wide, turn your feet out. Heels are in towards each other, toes are away from the center line of your body. Slowly bend both knees and come into goddess pose. With your knees out to the side, your legs are bent, your torso is up straight. Inhale, straighten your legs, bring your feet back to parallel. Exhale, fold your torso over. Bring your hands to the ground and relax your head for another wide-legged forward fold. Once again, feel free to bend your knees or place something underneath your hands. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly come up to standing. Once again, turn your legs out from your hips, bringing your feet turned out, toes away from each other. On an exhale, bend both knees, come back into your goddess pose. You should feel your quads working a bit. Remain up tall with your torso as you press into your goddess pose. On your next inhale, straighten your legs and turn your feet back parallel. And on an exhale, take one final wide-legged forward fold. 
place your hands to the ground, keep your knees bent if needed, and relax your head over completely. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly come up to standing with a straight back. Bring your feet in towards each other and come to a seated position on the ground. Once seated, place your feet to meet each other and bring your knees out to the side. Sit up tall on the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. On an inhale, find length through your spine. And on an exhale, fold your torso over into a forward fold. Hold on to your feet. Look down and find as much length in your spine as possible. If you would like a deeper hip stretch, place your elbows on your knees and gently press your knees down towards the ground as you forward fold. If this is too intense of a stretch or you just want to stay where you are, that's totally fine and you can just remain in the forward fold. And slowly make your way up out of your fold. Stretch your legs out in front of you and flex your feet. Point your knees and toes up towards the ceiling. On an inhale, sit up tall and exhale, fold over. Place your hands on your shins, your ankles, or your feet, depending on your flexibility today, and look down. Breathe here. And slowly come back up. From here, bend your left leg, bring your knee out to the side, and place the bottom of your foot to your right inner thigh. Once again, inhale, find length through your spine. Exhale, forward fold over your right leg, holding onto your leg wherever you can reach today, looking down towards that leg, and stretching here for a few deep breaths. On your next inhale, slowly come back up out of your forward fold. Keep your left leg bent, bring the knee up and cross it over your right leg. You can keep your right leg straight or bent depending on your flexibility and comfort today. And once you've chosen your pose, place your right arm around your left leg. Bring your left arm behind you. On an inhale, sit up tall, and on your exhale, twist around to the left, remaining even on both sits bones as you twist, and continue to breathe and twist here. Slowly unwind, come back through the center, and then come into an open twist. Wrap your left arm around your left leg, bring your right arm behind you, and twist around to the right. Once again, remaining even on your sits bones on the ground, and twisting in the opposite direction. Slowly unwind, come back through the center. Uncross your legs and stretch both legs out in front of you. We'll take that whole sequence on the other side. Bend your right leg, take the knee out to the side, and place the bottom of your foot to your left inner thigh. Inhale, find length. Exhale, forward fold over your left leg. Keep your foot flexed. Place your hands anywhere on your leg that you can reach today 
and breathe in your forward fold. Slowly come up and then bring your right knee up and cross the right leg over the left. Keep the left leg straight or bend it in, bringing your left heel right underneath your right glute. Wrap your left arm around your right leg. Bring your right arm behind you. Inhale, find length and exhale, twist to the right. Remain even. Keep breathing as you twist. Find length with each inhale. Twist a little deeper with each exhale. Unwind from your twist, coming back through center, and then come straight into your open twist in the opposite direction. Wrapping your right arm around your right leg, left arm behind you as you twist to the left. Gently come out of your twist, coming back to the center. Uncross your legs and come to lying on your back. Once on your back, hug your knees in towards your chest and flex your feet. Hold on to your shins. You can gently rock from side to side if you'd like, or stay still if that's more comfortable for you. Slowly come to stillness if you've been moving. Take both of your legs and bring them over to the left side of your body, keeping them bent. Turn your torso over to the right, stretching your right arm out and looking over your right hand. Remain here and breathe in your twist on the ground. Bring your legs and your head back to the center, and then come straight into the other side. Keep both knees bent, bring them over to the right side of your body to the ground. Reach your left arm out to the left, and turn your head to the left as well. Stretch here in this twist in the opposite direction. Bring your legs and your head back to the center. Keep your legs bent and place your feet on the ground. Take your right ankle and cross it over the left tough thigh. Take hold in between your legs underneath the left leg, holding on behind the leg on the hamstring. Keep your feet flexed and gently pull your legs in towards your shoulders and hold this stretch here. Remove your hands from your left leg, place your left foot down. Uncross your ankle and come straight into the other side. 
Take your left ankle and cross it over the right thigh. Hold on behind the right leg on the hamstring, keeping both legs bent and hugging in towards your chest. Hold here and breathe in this stretch on the other side. Release your hands from your leg, uncross your ankle over your thigh, and straighten your legs out onto the ground. Keep your legs separated slightly apart and relax them completely. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling, close your eyes, and begin to deepen your breath once again. Breathing in and out through your nose. Slowly and gently, focusing all of your attention on your breath as you did at the beginning of the sequence, noticing the pathway of your breath. You can count your breath, which might help you to focus a little bit better, or just remain here and notice the breath, allowing it to relax you deeper and deeper with each exhale. Whatever you have chosen to do, remain here and relax. Bring some slight motion back into your body, gently moving your hands and your feet, your arms and your legs. When you're ready, bend both legs and roll onto the right side. Rest there with your knees bent and your arm underneath your head. Once again, when you're ready, use your hands to help you. Come up to a seated cross-legged position. Bring your hands to your legs, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Take a moment to say thank you to yourself for taking the time out of your day to practice yoga and to feel a little bit less stressed than you did before. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. 
and bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the class. Please subscribe for new free yoga videos every Monday and Wednesday. Follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Check out my yoga blog, girlonyoga.com, and also my vlog channel. See you next time.